Hey Capricorns, welcome to your August 2020 general reading. This reading will be for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising signs. If you don't know your moon and rising, I would highly recommend you Google it. All you need is your birthday and the time that you were born. And you should also go watch the videos for your moon and rising sign. This way you can get more clarity for the month of August. And also in case the messages here don't resonate with you, they may resonate better in your moon and your rising video. If you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down below in the comment section, represent for Capricorn gang. And yeah, let's get right into it, Capricorn. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the month of August 2020. What is Capricorn's energy in August? What is Capricorn's energy in August 2020? Ooh, the Empress. Very nice. Feeling abundant. Eight of Wands. I feel like a lot of abundance is coming to you, Capricorn. Whatever you've been working really hard on, and you're always working really hard, a lot of abundance is coming your way. Oh yeah, look at you, King of Pentacles. For many of you, are, you're a male Capricorn. You could be expecting. Well, with your female, <laughs> not you're expecting. <laughs> Um, I feel like a lot of you are expecting some sort of abundance, okay, that's taken some time to grow. You know, the Empress represents the mother sign. Um, she's also fertile, okay? So there's something that's been growing over a long period of time. This could be something that you manifested yourself. Um, or if you are, you know, you could definitely be pregnant yourself as well and expecting during this time. But I do feel mostly it's like expecting some sort of abundance or something given to you you know something is coming in the month of August and you're, you know, expecting it. You're hopeful for it. And you know good things are coming your way. Blessings are coming your way. So many of you may have some things in the works, probably something you've been working on all year, working on last month. But you're looking really good. Looking really, really good. Especially money-wise. What's the external energy? coming toward Capricorn in, oops, lots of cards falling, in the month of August. What is the external energy? Ace of Swords, new ideas, new beginnings, new thoughts, truth, clarity. Tell me more about this energy coming toward Capricorn. Two of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. Okay. So there's definitely something that you're you're trying to decide. You're trying to decide something. You're going back and forth trying to make a decision. I feel like you have great knowledge of this opportunity that's being presented to you because I do see a lot of opportunity coming your way rapidly with the Eight of Wands. A lot of communication coming your way as well. And I feel like you're, you're, you've are you're been expecting this communication or, or it's something that you've been hoping for. Could be talks of a promotion. But I feel like it has a lot to do with your you elevating there's a lot of air energy here too so you could be dealing with an air sign or expecting to hear some news from an air sign gemini libra aquarius but i see a lot of balance a lot of truth a lot of communication coming into your life right now august is looking like a good month what's the outcome here for capricorn what is the outcome for capricorn in the month of August. What is the outcome in this situation? The two of swords. You have two twos so far. Six of 
someone is definitely offering you something, whether that be an opportunity to connect, or it could be a romantic opportunity, could be a job opportunity, could be um, something. And I feel like you're you're juggling with the idea of if you want to accept it or not. This could very much be coming from an air sign person. For some of you, you could have two options as well, as far as like picking between two people, two opportunities. You kind of seem undecided. Tell me more about the outcome for Capricorn. You have the Eight of Pentacles. This definitely seems like a work-related opportunity. I feel like there's something being presented to you that's really big. It's a big opportunity. It's a big chance. Some of you may see it as a risk or maybe you weren't. Maybe some of you weren't expecting it. It kind of came out of nowhere. But I see this big transformation or opportunity that's coming your way. It's being offered to you. And you're in the position to make a decision. What do you want to do about it? But I feel like you're hesitating a little bit. Capricorn. Seems like an amazing opportunity though with the Empress. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. It's definitely something that's going to benefit you financially. For some of you, it could be an opportunity to be an entrepreneur. Maybe it's an investment, someone wanting to invest in you or invest in an idea that you have. But I see a lot of communication, like there's some sort of new idea that's popping up or something new that's being born in the month of August. That seems really good. I wonder why... Why is Capricorn not sure what they want to do? You have two cards. Look at this. New opportunity and the sun card. Many of you are expecting a baby in the month of August. You have a lot of reference here to that. And the three of cups. Yeah, I think after some time of deliberating and, you know, I feel like whatever this opportunity is, you're taking your time with it because you want to make a very smart, informed decision, okay? Because whatever it is, is big. And you don't want to just, you know, make a snap decision, okay? You're, you're very grounded and you're very practical and you're definitely weighing out all the options. For some of you, it could be like signing a contract. Um, it could have to do with like signing a contract for something big, like a home. Um, you know what I mean? With, with that kind of responsibility where, you know, you really want to flesh it out and think it over before you make any big decision but I see you deciding to go for it many of you and I see people celebrating this decision you have the three of cups here so people are celebrating your success in the month of August and very much happy for you happy to see you doing well happy to see some sort of idea you had or contract you signed is paying off for you looking good Capricorn and let's clarify uh, let's clarify this ace of swords clarify the ace of swords please tell me more about this opportunity this new beginning being offered to Capricorn uh-huh four of cups so you see you're getting an offer here but you i feel like you're getting a lot of offers actually that's what i'm saying with the empress here it's like a lot of opportunity coming your way quickly okay and you're trying to decide which one do i want what do i want to pick i want to make sure that i make the right decision the decision that's best for me best for my family best for my career best for you know my potential to earn money so, you know, most people may jump at this opportunity because it seems like really, really big stuff. But you, again, being the sign that you are, being very practical and grounded, you want to put a little thought into it before you, you make any big decisions. So let's pull some Oracle cards here. We're going to use Oracle of the Mermaids to get some messages or advice for you, Capricorn for the month of August. What are some messages you have, universe for Capricorn, 
in the month of August 2020. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. Imrama. It says, wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, journey of the soul. One more card for Capricorn. You have the mirror here flipping over. It says, know thyself. Self-examination, seeing who you really are. Let's do one last card for Capricorn. One last card for Capricorn here. I feel like whatever this decision you're making, you're trying to be true to yourself. So let's say you're being offered something big where most people would take it. You really want to be true to yourself. You want to go with something that feels right in your soul. And you just don't want to take the first offer you get or the first offer you receive. The present, gift, treasure, revelation of own value, nowness. So you're definitely being gifted something. And it's happening now in the present. And as I said before, you guys are very grounded. You guys are not going to take this decision lightly. You're going to want to sit with it for a while. But eventually, I feel like you're going to make a decision that's going to make a lot of people around you happy, as well as yourself. So all looks really good. Capricorn in the month of August, all looks really, really good. Remember to be true to yourself, okay? Don't let money blind you. Don't let, you know, all of these different offers. Make sure you're picking something that you know is right for you and right for your spirit and right for the journey that you want to take in life that's going in that's going to take you in the direction that you want to go because i feel like a lot of things are going to be happening fast in august for you a lot of opportunity a lot of people wanting your attention or wanting to give you something and you are going to have to decide you know what is it that you're going to take what are you going to do but you got this all right, Capricorn, so if you would like to do a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below. It's just readstarot.com. Also, if you want to submit a question for the monthly mini reads, you can join my Patreon. That link is also down in the description. So Capricorns, I love you guys. I hope to hear from you again or see you in the next video. Take care.